and we are excited to be here. Um, in 2011, the Reliant Committee has selected only eight student athletes throughout the whole Houston area. And as you all know, we're here to recognize an individual's achievements. Uh, we're so excited to be here. His name is Aaron. Uh, last season, he led the way offensively, hitting 400, was scoring 20 runs and driving in 22 runs and 45 officials at bat. Wow, congratulations. This student also dedicates himself uh, education in this education field as well. Um, he ranks in the top 2% of students in the Engineering Magnet program. We love the way you carry yourself in the community as well as your personal life. We see you're a spiritual grounded person. We see, for an example, that you have served at your uh, church, St. Peter's Catholic Church, as an um, uh, altar server for nearly 10 years. On behalf of Reliant Energy and the Houston Texans, um, we stand here proud to present Aaron. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Don't cry. You're making me cry. We stand here proud not to present Aaron a $500 scholarship, not even a $1,000 scholarship check, but a $5,000 college scholarship check. I've had the opportunity to work with Aaron uh, both in the classroom as well as, as his baseball coach for the last two years. And I can say without doubt that he is uh, one of the most exceptional students I've ever had the privilege to work with. Uh, he not only is an exceptional athlete, uh, he is a true leader in the classroom. Um, and he is passionate about being the best he can be as a student, as a young man, as an athlete. Uh, and I really wish that, that I could get more students like Aaron Laverne. Uh, he's, he's truly as exceptional in everything he does. So his list consists of approximately 10 schools, but ultimately the decision will be based on aid. <laughs> and so we're really happy about this scholarship because it will help us determine what, which school he'll be able to go to. And his list kind of ranged from a few schools here in Houston. Uh, he has a couple in Louisiana, um, University of Mississippi, and a couple in Florida that he's really looking for. By the time he was a sophomore, he was starting to become uh, a leader on the team as far as inspiring some of the other kids to play. Um, here at Washington, we don't have a large group of kids that have been playing baseball a long time. So uh, Aaron had to learn that, you know, you can't be frustrated. It's better to help teach and lead by example. So he's been doing a lot of that when he comes out to practice. He works hard. Um, throughout the games, he's always encouraging, you know, even when things might not go so well. First off, you have to realize that you're a student athlete and you're a student first. So that means you have to get everything in the books covered first. And also, I know everybody hears this, if you break your leg or something happens, you don't always have athlete, athletics to fall back on. So you have to have your brain. Your brain has to be there because that's ultimately what you want for in life, for your brain to be up there and for you to be an educated citizen of the United States of America. 